Hi, I'm Adrian Bowles with RT Insights and Storm Insights. We have a series here where we talk to executives of innovative technology firms about issues that we see buyers of technology facing and get their input on how they're seeing things in the marketplace and how their products and services address those issues. So the one we want to talk about today is looking at, uh, from a business standpoint, a product manager, a VP of products, someone that is uh, trying to make a business decision about a new uh, investment in IoT apps. You know it's going to have some good things, but there's a, a fear in a lot of people that we talk to about how is this going to integrate, how is this going to disrupt the existing portfolio that I have. And so my guest today is Mike Peach, General Manager of Middleware at Red Hat. What do you see in this area? What are people worried about and how do you yeah. help them out? It, it's, it makes sense that folks have a little bit of maybe fear of the unknown when it comes to IoT. It sounds glamorous in some ways, but also very complicated. And there are all these new devices that folks are not used to thinking about and dealing with from an architecture standpoint. But for the, for the business person, the good news is that ultimately a lot of the investments that have already been made are, are very much leverageable, very much usable in the, the new world of IoT. And perhaps even more importantly, the knowledge that your developers, your architects, you know, your, the folks who are, who are building those apps to, to make your business yeah. more competitive and run better, all that or most of that knowledge is transferable. So there's not like you've got to go hire a whole new team to go build a whole new uh, type of application in order to be successful. Okay, great. So we're looking at um, leveraging a lot of the existing infrastructure at the middleware level. Uh, how does, you know, when I think of Red Hat, I think of uh, sort of the open source, open systems uh, background. Is there anything about that that, uh, that helps one get into the IoT world? Yeah, one of the key things to think about when thinking about open source is not, oh, my developers can look at the, look at the source code, mm -hmm. or even, oh, it's open source, it's free, it's cheap, et cetera. I mean, there are certainly interesting benefits in both of those areas. However, what's really, I think, compelling in the context of IoT is the rate of innovation that happens out there in the IoT space. Um, in, in general, in, in enterprise computing, you know, many of the frameworks, many of the, 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 the middleware components and so on that are coming out of uh, open source uh, really are the latest and, and, and most cutting edge of anything out there in the industry uh, mm -hmm. compared with uh, maybe proprietary alternatives. And that is uh, at least as true for IoT as, as, as any of those other technology areas. So net-net, from the business person's standpoint, one of the, the benefits of going with an open source based provider is you're really going to tap into that, that stream of the latest and greatest innovations um, and, and not miss out on those. Great. So let me see if I can summarize. Uh, the key thing from the business perspective, the key points are that you can leverage existing in infrastructure, you can le leverage existing talent, skills, and that by using an open source or open stack, if you will, um, IO for IoT, you're going to be uh, getting the benefit of the larger community, so faster rate of innovation. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great. Thanks. Thanks, Adrian. Thanks for watching. If you'd like more information, you can go to uh, the URL, redhat.com, or in the series at rtinsights.com. Thanks.